We work remote on the rivers. If we break down, we can't have a tow truck come and get us off the side of the road. Reliability of engines is very key to us. You know, a lot of things we run into is flood water, especially on this river. Water can jump up eight feet in a matter of 12 hours. It can go from sunny and 70 to tornadoes and 50 degrees in a matter of minutes. So you got to take every precaution you can to make sure everyone goes home safe to their family at night. And these motors play a key role in that. We have the reliability there. This was a family business started in 1965. We have evolved into marine construction, heavy marine construction, and a lot of habitat restoration. On the Mississippi River and Missouri Rivers, we do different things such as dredging for fish habitat, island restoration for, for bird species and other upland species. It's, it's efforts made mostly by Fish and Wildlife and Corps of Engineers to restore native river habitat. We do a lot of rock for the Army Corps of Engineers and, and bank stabilization placements. Normally our typical day, we, we leave the hotel early in the morning and we jump in a flat boat, run up or down river to our, our boat and our barges, we get everything fired up and start placing rock. Uh, we usually do about 2,000 tons of rock placement a day. We start by unloading one barge and then we swap it out in the fleet and run and get our other barge and continue placement. We usually work long days and whatever it takes to get the job done. This boat used to have old old air shifters, you know, that were the standard of boats for a long time, and now we have the electronic controls. And from what I've noticed, the ship up time, the delay between clutch and ship up all the way to full, has cut down immensely. They're, they're very snappy now. You get a lot of response out of the throttles. The difference in the exhaust outside is uncanny than what we had in this boat originally. A bunch of install work went on with them, you know, re, re molding the cradles, uh, the fuel piping, um, Lots of custom work to get to make sure these are it's all set where they need to be. The way they were installed, the, the tech support we have got for them, and, and what we're getting out of them right now is night and day difference. From the previous engines that were in this boat, I've noticed the boat running a lot smoother, the, a lot quieter. We're averaging 13 gallons per hour on the new Volvo Pentas. The old motors were right around 38 to 39 gallons per hour. Volvo builds some of the best engines in the world. They have a good product, good support, good service. Volvo is not industry standard for engines in, in river tugboats, so I broke the mold a little bit there, but uh, I was happy to do so. Warranty in particular was important to us. They, they stand behind their product for long-term warranty, which I like. The analysis on the engine, fuel burn, torque ratings, Everything uh, checked out good, and the Volvo has a great reputation. Volvo is certainly a very viable option for river tugboats.